Look at that, well, I've just come through. I feel like I've just been born again. Oh me there. We put the other torch on, you can see. Wow. Yeah, right, let's go. Let's go. So we're back in Derbyshire again and we've come to have a look at another mine. This is Juggles mine, dates back to 1629 and after use it was used for Fleur Spa in the 20th century. That I believe was in the lower section. The original part of the mine was an upper section. We're going to have a go at accessing both of those. I think you can walk into the upper section relatively easy. It's quite big and wide open. So we'll look at that first and then hopefully we'll look at the lower section i think it involves a bit of a crawl up a pipe yeah now evidence at the site of jug holes mine suggests that two main phases of mining activity took place the first phase was the early mining of lead both from lead rich sediments in the floor and mineralized hydrothermal pipe deposits in pockets on the walls this early phase of mining dates from 1629 from the noon nick vein on which jug holes is situated was being worked. The second more recent phase of mining was for Fleur Spa in the mid and early 20th century. This accounts for the workings and also the artifacts including prop galleries, tubs and rails. Jug holes cave is situated not far from Matlock. You've got Matlock all the way over here look and if we look along here that's Salters Lane that road just running from right to left away from Matlock right at the top of the hill and Jug Holes Cave is in Jug Holes Woods just here. I do recommend if you're going to have a snoop around this place hard hats and maybe knee pads and decent footwear too and you might get a little bit messed up. Let's go down and have a look inside. That's the that's the upper section just near the oldest part we're going to come back to that in a bit don't worry we'll be back we're going to keep going down and looking for this lower part so before we get to the entrance look look at this what we've found it's a piece of rail but it's also like a turntable look for the tubs that is a rail section look there and on the opposite side let's go over the other side and you can see that piece of rail there you just make it out there's a lot of twigs just there look this is loose it's not permanently there there's no more rail there look so that doesn't that look inviting that's what we're faced with let's shine the light in there it's not very long look you can see the veren that's going to involve a crawl going down there that's going to be so much fun Yeah, somehow you have to try and bolt that gate out. You have to turn around and do that. <laughs> Come back the other way or something. Well, if you're in, I can go down backwards. Okay, go on. And then you can guide your feet to yeah. the bottom. So we're in, look at this. This is this is brilliant, isn't it? Straight away, look. You see that piece of old rail? That's gonna be going out to where we just seen outside there. Look at the roof. It's dripping a little bit. 
Look at the shapes of this. This is astounding, isn't it? It's a beauty. Right, straight away. Look. It's a little rail section, isn't it? It's an old tub up here, look. Wow. I mean, it's a little wet, but it doesn't matter, does it? Let's move that up a little bit. Look at saddle rails, look. Look at that beauty. So, it would have been these little things that would have been turned around on that circular plate that we saw outside. It's missing its wheels at the other end, look. You can see where the other wheel was. But it's missing on the other side as well, yeah it is. That is brilliant. Still sat on the rails. And beyond that look, we've got more rails going forwards. So we've got a shaft there, look. A little bit of light coming through it. We'll take the lights away. There it is, look. That is most likely going to be the one we was stood up above earlier. That's not, that's really good, isn't it? It's probably why you can hear voices occasionally. And this is what it looks like at the top. This is the shaft we've just been looking at, looking upwards. I bet you could get down there if you had the right gear, but then, would you need to if you can go through the whole of doom? Right, that's this. How about that? You can't believe these tracks are still down. Turn you around, look. Just see, that's that's our tub, look, just there. Shine that on it. Unbelievable, isn't it? I'll make sure I get some photos of this on my way back. Quite a bit of water. The rails are broken away just here, and it's looking a bit squidgy on the foot. But, I think we're going to find this another tub just there. Look, it's very stoopy just there, and I can hear quite a bit of dripping water. But it's sat on its rails. Look, it's like people have just decided one day that's it, we've done, and they just walk away from it. I mean, it's corroded away, hasn't it? It's quite a bit missing there, it doesn't even appear to be on wheels. I don't know what happens to the wheels, and the track just stops. Look. That's, that's brilliant. Right, let's carefully step down here. Another rail section. Look, so it's like this is all collapsed away at some point if the rails just, just stop where they do. But that's all. But this is quite a vast high up area. You get that on a little bit, see it a bit better. Look, bit of a gaping hole up there. Dim it down a bit. There we go, that's better. And it's kind of like a scene going up there. Look. And through there, that's where we're going next. Like a, so they're not really wheels, it's more like a cart than what I'm driving on the actual. Um, so there's that other tub there, just on there on the rails. Look, the wheelbase on that is definitely wider, it's more like a cart you'd push. That's nothing to do with the, the little line that's in here, 
that's wider and longer and the wheels have a lot, you know, what you call them, flanges on them. There's some old rail sections just here looking at some corrugated metal just there. Right, we're going over there. I'm not in here on my own by the way. I'm just dropped back occasionally to get the photos. There appears to be two different passages, look. That's very narrow down there, I don't think we'll bother with that one. I can still just see daylight. See that little pin of light in the middle? That's where we came in. This is where we're going. Talk like I'm on a tour, don't I? And I'm just taking like an expedition down with me. Let's put that on, we can see a bit better now. Cool. Look at this. Another great big chamber sort of area. Support beam there, look. It's quite high again. That's probably where that other one turns out just there, which we saw before we came in this one. Way disappearing around there, it goes, goes up by this one, and you can get through and get you any way through that. Which is quite different to the other one. So, I've climbed up down there a little bit of left hill down there, and you can get up there, look, but it's a bit of a squeeze. I think it's more for the higher skilled individuals for going up there, and that is not me just yet. And there's a little hole up there, but it's not a way you'd get down. And some of these boulders look pretty loose. So I don't think I'll stay around here for much longer. Now it appears we're not down here on our own. Looks like Juggles has got himself a little guardian, a little mud man with a little spear or a sword. That's pretty cute, isn't it? So we're going to make our way back to the Tunnel of Doom where we came in. And once we've done that, we'll have a look at the upper section. So we navigated back through and there is that first tub that we saw and behind us we've got to go back through the Tunnel of Doom. So between both mines, the upper is up there, we're going there now, and the lower one we've just done. Is this the foundation of a chimney? It's very, very square. And it's like there's an opening at the bottom, which could have been like a flue. That's what it looks like on top, and it's like it is collapsed in on itself. Down there, like it's hollowed out. So this here was promised 
This is the upper section of the mine. This is the older part. Records dating back to 1629. It's much more of a cavernous entrance. It's the complete opposite to that other one that we've just been in, isn't it? There's a little bit just there lot that's been dug out. Whether it went anywhere at one time of day, who knows? So we're about to go in. Let's go and enjoy it. There's a piece of rail, look. So that has probably come out of the one we've just been in, because looking at it, I can't see that this would have been able to have such a thing with having quite an entrance like that. Unless they came here, then it was all carried up. Shine the light down, look. You get a better idea of how big it was, or is. So you can see there's daylight just there, look, if I turn the light away. And I think I can show you that. We could jump up and have a little look. And that down there is where that light is coming in. I stood above that, looking down. I'm gonna go as far as this, look at that. You can see that is a heck of a long way down, isn't it? See if I can do anything with the torch. See the beams hitting as far as it would go. There's a great big coil of wire mesh down there as well. That's what the beams are hitting now. Let's get back down. Just see where we came in. Look over there. There's two passages here. I believe they both go the same way. That one's quite rocky, but this one is more of a smooth surface. So we'll go in here. Look, there's a pathway down there. And there's another bit of something just there. We'll perhaps have a look at that in a moment. Is that flooded down there? Yeah. See, when I came in before, that had gone. I'd, I'd known that water can build up there. Yeah. But I can't think if I've got a photo. I hope I did. Yes, yeah, so as you can see, that's flooded there. There is a gap just there, look. Now the passageway does go, it looks a bit too slippy to stand on, but it does go up there and you climb up a little bit that's, yeah. that's where it goes up there but this this have no water in it when i come i think that's a dead end down there as well yeah that's that little passageway look that's well it's not a passageway but it's opposite the water yeah, you can see up there look, that cave if you're going up there you get your feet wet and we're not doing that today but i went up there a few weeks ago and it didn't go so far, not for me anyway, look that did go. Yeah. What you just found in there, Phil? There's a, there's a cavern with a blue arrow, so it's, oh. it's a passage, obviously, of some kind. Oh, quite a big action. Bit of a crawler. It's been through, but it opens up. Um, tempted to go through. Look at him go. Well. <laughs> so I've poked my nose through as well. And do you know what? Let's see if I can get this light on. There's a nice arch here. Phil says there's a nice arch through there, so seeing them halfway through, I may as well carry on. Look at that one, I've just come through. I feel like I've just been born again. Oh me there. We put the other torch on, you can see. 
Wow. Yeah, right, let's go, let's go. So, it opens out again, look, look at this. Oh, look at that up there. You're coming this way? Yeah, uh, multiple passageways up there. I'm coming down. And there he is, look. oh yeah, look at that. Look at that. Right, not many see that. I wonder if down there is down to that pool. Possibly. Let me show you what we're getting excited about. It's an archway lock. And that's very, very old, isn't it? You could crawl through it, you could probably even go over it by the looks of it over there. And that, yeah, that might take us down to that pool of water we got stuck at before. <laughs> Where did you come? Uh, that way you were going. Yeah. Mm. Alright, it's time to go back through the hole. And there we go, we're out. That was that hole again. Can't believe that. There we go, see a bit better now. Let's make our way back down. Just on the way out, looking there's another bit of rail protruding out of the ground. That's quite lethal. Oh yeah, some sort of. Um... So what I do say with little bits like this sticking out the ground, if you're going to come here to any of these places, don't come on your own. It's just a recommendation, and take it very, very steady, very steady, because they're very dangerous places. That's brilliant. We've looked at both of the jug holes mines, haven't we? Both of them are completely different though. Both got completely different characteristics. You've got the, the great big cavernous like tunnels down below and at the southern one down the hill, we've got the more traditional mine like with the mine carts in it. Let's say thanks to Phil. Great. Are we doing this again? Yes. We'll right. do um, Masson just down the road next time maybe. Brilliant. So thank you very much indeed. Thanks Phil for bringing us, showing us about. It's a pleasure. We've also looked at Whopping Mine. That's going to be a separate video. And if you enjoy it, please like, subscribe, comment below and hit that share button. See you soon. Bye bye.